All right. Eon on, send me out. What the fuck? Whoa! Eon on, sent me out their uh, E46 uh, CarPlay radio. Change. Why wait? That's what I'm saying. Let's check out what we got. Looks like user manual. This guy's ripping tits. Whole bunch of wires and shit. This is going to be cool. <laughs> they call me the bait robber. <laughs> Alright, I don't know what none of these do. I'm going to figure out what these do and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start it back up. Alright y'all, I'm pretty sure I got this shit figured out. We're gonna call that good. <laughs> uh, let's see, the microphone. I could put the microphone just like right here. I mean, I don't wanna remove my steering wheel. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take these out. This little guy always gives me shit. There we go. Oh yeah. Alright, we got those all routed. I'm not going to use the 4G antenna, the GPS, or the microphone because I'm going to be using CarPlay the whole time. So, it don't really matter to me if the radio itself has GPS, nor I don't even know what the fuck it means by the 4G thing. So we're gonna plug the Wi-Fi cord into there, into the little, the little Wi-Fi spot. I don't, I guess I do need both of them, huh? I'll put the second one on there just to, so I don't have to take it all apart again. All right, now we got both of them taped in there. We got, uh. Most of the shit, <laughs> most of it all routed and tucked and everything. So now, last thing left to do, take our connector here. Whoa. Tight squeeze there, buddy. Take our connector here, line up the pins, snap that in. We'll find our main power cord here. We'll plug that in, like so. And then I don't really know what these are for, but I'm gonna plug them in. <laughs> I'm assuming maybe like steering wheel controls and things like that. They just say RX and TX. So I don't really know what that means. But we're just gonna plug all this stuff in. <laughs> and uh, now we play the game of shove and pray it all fits uh, okay I'm stupid abort abort mission I gotta get this damn plastic piece out before I can uh, before I can put this in it don't fit so give me like 20 seconds got the hunk of shit out now Back to plugging shit in. Power cord. One of these. You can have a custom boot up screen on these. Oh, on these radios. Now you already know. I'm putting the Crunchy Forever Street Merchant logo on there. Y'all already know. There we go. Now, hopefully this will be the final plug-in. <laughs> Hopefully I don't I don't fuck up no more. Slide this up, line up the pins, push. Bow. Okay. Now, now we play the show game. There's a lot more room after I took out that little plastic piece. So this theoretically should just uh, slide it behind there, maybe. Yeah. Okay. 
Ooh, okay, that looks really good. <laughs> Let's get these screws back in. Five O startup, nice. All right, now we take our trim pieces, and I pray to God this can somehow slip behind it. Nope, of course it can't. Okay. Can it still do it now? Okay. Theoretically, that's how it's gonna work. <laughs> we're gonna see. I don't know if that's how it's gonna work, but we're gonna try. All right, your boy figured it out. <laughs> Let's uh, hop over in the driver's seat and see what she looks like. All right, this is how she looks in the car. Sorry for the, the glare. Let's uh, get our key in. Oh yeah, baby, I'm hyped. I'm real hype. All right, we got the CarPlay all hooked up. LED, let's go red. Because it's a BMW. I was setting it up and it needed an update. So, we're updating it. Okay, we've got her pretty much set up. The only thing I really want to do now is just uh, set up my uh my boot logo because i want to put the, the street merchant thing on there obviously so i gotta figure out how to get uh the picture off my phone onto that and yeah we'll give you an update when we got that working all right after losing all my daylight and a little bit of my mind insanity we've got it fully set up i got all my settings how i like them got the boot logo got the wallpapers how I like them uh, the amplifiers tuned to how I like so now comes the fun part of just using it every day and uh, yeah so I'll catch you guys in like fucking three or four days so I was told that uh, there's an update for the a12 Eon on radio that I just put in where uh, it takes it from Android 12 and puts it on Android 13 and I have an iPhone, so I don't really know what that does, but apparently I got told that it makes it look different. So we're gonna see what that looks like. I updated it and uh, it's not too much different. I mean, they changed the icons a little bit. And uh, the only like big thing that I'm noticing is that it is a whole lot faster and smoother. All right, this is uh, a few days later, <laughs> or like a couple weeks later, but I've been using this radio now for, like I said, a couple weeks, and especially after that update with Android 13, this thing is super smooth, super quick. The only thing is uh, I miss the old style where it still had like the buttons and the volume knobs and everything. That's the only thing I miss is my volume knob, but you still get your steering wheel controls and everything, so, you know. That's cool, but it definitely updates the interior, makes it look a whole lot newer, and um, you get a whole lot of cool apps and stuff. And if you uh, if you connect the radio to like a Bluetooth OBD2 thing, you can use the Torque app, and uh, there's a whole bunch of cool features with this. You can hook up backup cameras, front cameras, um, all types of shit. It's got wireless CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. Um, you can also like plug it in too, if that's what you prefer, but I like the wireless shit. Uh, yeah, gets a, uh, gets a good, good radio <laughs> for me. I like it. I like it a lot. Thank you, Eonon. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>